Hello. So, oh, and my cat's up here. Of course he is. Anyway, so normally when I make these videos, I uh, edit them. <laughs> I'm not going to do any editing on this video because I just kind of want to actually talk while I'm watching it um, instead of like pre thinking about it because there's a lot that's going on right now and I actually uh, I have a lot to say I guess um, but I want to start by saying that this is um, probably my first piece that like I've ever that's not a meme and it's not something like goofy that I've made in like GIMP that I haven't um, I bought a little little I'll go back a little bit uh, I, I mean, used to make a little bit of graphic art when I was in college, but I didn't really do much of anything with um, Photoshop or anything like that. Um, other than like, you know, applying some filters and goofy stuff like that. And then I use it for memes. Um, I actually make a lot of memes and I don't even realize it until I like start looking through my folders. and I'm like, did I make that? I can't. Or I see somebody else use one or something. Anyway. Um, so I bought this tablet because I wanted to make <laughs> editing memes easier. And also, because um, I've been doing those uh, coloring book pages, I wanted to um, make it a little bit easier for myself to uh, edit those and clean those up. And I thought having a pad would do that. I also thought, um, I, I kept seeing really good reviews for this tablet, this, um, this one that has paper. So it's the Wacom paper tablet. And I can tell you that I do like the tablet just fine. Uh, I do not like the paper part of it. It It's not the paper part. The pen is actually pretty terrible. Um, as you've heard me complain about pens before, um, I'm just not into it. I'm not into that pen at all. It is like not... I don't like I don't like the way it feels on the paper. I don't like the line it makes. And I once like I transfer the drawing to a, like a computer or whatever, it just looks like garbage. I've got a cat on my lap. I'm trying to like move him around. You can probably hear him snort if I pick him up. He's purring. Hey, baby. I, I went ahead and left him in here because he was being good. And then as soon as I turned the microphone on, he, he's not being good. I'm holding him now. Anyway, um. I wanted to draw a little bit and like try to get myself used to drawing with this pen because I literally never used um, a drawing pen before, or a, a tab tablet before. Even when I was in college, I never used a tablet because I never had one. Um, so this is like my first time drawing with a stylus that's not on my phone. And of course, drawing with a stylus on my phone is like me just writing dumb stuff for... Uh, whatever. I tried a little bit with my tablet because it is a touch screen, but um, it doesn't really work because my palm print just gets everywhere. It didn't work, so I thought I would try it. I don't know if you can still hear. He's still purring. He's such a sweet boy. I'll hold you, but you have to move down here, okay? Um, okay, as for what's going on, a whole lot, actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, the last thing that I talked about was uh, the situation with my mom and my sister. And um, uh, well, I'm watching this, but uh, let me just get into this. Uh, I, when I draw things, and I don't, you don't see me draw representational stuff very often, but when I draw things, I tend to be like really sketchy with it. And I like to um, like do negative space and positive space. So you'll see me doing a lot of like that before I do shading. I usually like to do shading after the fact, like uh, kind of a chiaroscuro or chiaroscuro, depending on you know how you say it, uh, depending on what country you're from. Um, I like to do that kind of thing when I'm digitally editing things. So you will see me like do a lot of kind of weird stuff. I don't draw, I think, the way that other people do. And if I could draw like this on paper, I probably would. <laughs> um, anyway, so you're going to see me like making a shit ton of mistakes. And the, the drawing's not very good. I didn't use a reference or anything like that. It, I just wanted to show you like my process, I guess. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. back to the situation at hand. So I had a very like real talk with my mom um, about the the house situation and I'm again I'm not going to get into all of the details of that because just you know honestly I did out of respect for my sister um and 
I'll just I'll just say that it's really bad. Like the house is bad. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, and I'm going to actually go see it today because I had a real talk with my mom, and I talked to her about helping her and being willing to help her with her situation. Um, which I really, I can't actually afford to do, but I can't afford not to, if that makes sense. So, uh, I'm going to basically, I've, I've agreed to put myself in debt probably for the rest of my life to like try to help her just get my, you know, get a healthy space set up for my sister, um, is, is what I'm thinking in my head anyway. Like I'm not trying to be fatalist like that, but it, that's just how it kind of feels right now. Um, talking to Brian about it on the way home from talking to my mom today, um, you know, in my head, you're just trying to like run the numbers. I won't know uh, until this afternoon exactly what that's going to be, but, or, you know, even what ballpark, what that's going to be, but I can guess that it's probably going to cost as much as my car <laughs> did. <laughs> I don't know though. That's just a guess. Anyway, so I talked to my mom about, you know, cleaning things up. And she was like, well, you know, I know this guy who can help me out and I trust him. And I was like, well, here's the thing. Like, it's not about trust. It's not about trusting somebody. I know that she had people that she was depending on before to help her clean her house and to, um, you know, do things here and there. The issue is that they only do the things that she decides are important. And, you know, the things that are in a priority in her mind are, you know, oh, well, you know, I need the clothes done or I need the, my craft room done or I need, you know, th these other things that are material things I need out of the way or the things that I want to be fixed are important to her, not the things that are like, you know, sanitary issues or health issues are not like I'm sure she's thinking about them but because of you know how anxiety works it's like those things aren't at the forefront of her mind just like you know when you have anxiety disorder and I mean anybody can kind of relate to this you tend to prioritize the things that you want um everybody does it but not everybody realizes it. We all, we all do. Not even, not even people with anxiety disorder. Like we all prioritize the things we want. For example, you know, Brian prioritizes his, you know, the, the video game stuff that he decides to like focus on. If he wants to replace all the caps in a game, he'll do that. And, you know, even if we have other projects that we need to do, he'll do that. And that's, that's like totally fine. All of that is fine. It's fine for anybody until it's like eating into your actual responsibilities, especially when you've got other people depending on you. And, and in this case, it's not even like a work. Whoa, that's cool. And in this case, it's not even like um, a work thing or, you know, uh, uh, just a family thing. It's, it's a health thing. And so this is for my mom's health and for my sister's health. One of my big worries is, you know, my mom has been a smoker, um, f you know, since she was a teenager, you know, probably 14, 15 years old. Um, she lived in a house with smokers and she grew up around it constantly all the time, the same way that I did. She, uh, she has emphysema, um, like my grandfather did. And uh, there was a while there where she did quit smoking. She was not smoking for like three months. And then my brother came home and lived with her. Um, and he was smoking all the time and, and she couldn't, take it finally she just started smoking again because he kept smoking in the house and you know wouldn't listen um uh, and so she, she started smoking again and I'm gonna sidebar for a minute and let you know that like I have a weird fascination with orbs and I not like I don't know in any like magical way or something but like I wanted to, this to be like her kind of holding this glowing orb and you'll probably see me doing that if I'm like making more people and I wanted her to actually be kind of a monster at first and the more I worked on it, the more it like became more like person-y because I was going to make like long freaky fingers and things. So maybe I'll retry that. But I love, I, I was like trying to make it easier on my eyes. Uh, I have actually installed a dark gimp theme so that when I stream again and I do digital art um, later, probably later today, actually, uh, I was going to make a background for my computer screen and or another piece kind of like this, but not as shitty. Um... I, 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 so that it can be dark for everybody's benefit, including mine, because it does actually break my eyes to do this. Uh, I usually keep my, my room pretty dim. 
um, in general because my eyes are, I'm very photosensitive. All right, so back to the story. Uh, anyway, um, so I had a very real talk with her about how I don't think that it's good at all to just have people that she knows helping her because that's what she's been doing throughout the years. And, and at one point it was me, like uh, the last time that she had her surgery, um, something bad happened right before that. And because, you know, anytime you have a situation where there's a minor in the house and something bad happens, well, CPS comes out and then, well, they came out and they were like, you have to get this cleaned up now. And she literally was going into surgery the next day. Like, so she went into surgery, she got her hip done. Um, and my aunt and I went to her house and we, helped clean and she had these kids there and and this is um partially probably because she literally had surgery the day before um she had these kids there helping her that she was you know giving some money to to help uh clean up and she was you know she was very focused on you know like moving this one table and like you know getting her lamps where she wanted them and 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 literally like my aunt and I were like trying to make it sanitary we were trying to do what CPS wanted and we didn't even figure out that like what we were supposed to be doing until um pretty much like later in the day uh so it was like we had already been like cleaning dishes for I think like six hours or something when you know she's like well here's what they told me I have to do so we, we got it cleaned up to the point where like they didn't you know take my sister away from her um so that was like you know, that's how that went. But I mean, that was years ago. That was actually in, in her house is I'm pretty sure her house has gotten worse since then. I haven't seen it, like I said. So I told my mom that like I'm I'm not going to help her unless we do it my way. And I'm not I'm not usually like that. Like I hate to be like that kind of asshole to anybody, even my mom who I've had a lot of problems with and, and I had a really good talk with my sister about this too, but um I I told her, I said, I, I can't, you know, unless you're having a professional do it. And I said, I'll, I'll help with that. I'm not going to help you because I know that if you're not working with somebody who understands this, um, who, you know, who can help with the anxiety, who can help you work through this, then you just won't do it. And, um, I, and she said, okay. And I, and I went, uh, a couple days ago and I started looking people up and I found this site you can actually just enter your information and somebody contacts you and you kind of tell them like what you're looking for um, and I did that and I got an email from a lady and, and I called her and she was very like she was like yeah you know I do this for a living I have a team she's like I'm used to working with people you know that have you know anxiety disorders and she was telling me she said you know I, I i should talk to your mom because if if she doesn't trust me and we don't get along you know for some reason she doesn't like me she's like she won't she won't work with me and she won't do it and i was like i really appreciated that she said that because i know that like a lot of people are you know hard up for money for their businesses so it's real easy to like be like oh yeah jackpot we'll clean up the house sure you know and and i'm and i did find another business that really rubbed me the wrong way uh because it was um i went to their site and oh can you um turn it off thank you i'm sorry i'm surprised brian didn't do that so that's she said my alarm was going off which means she's probably listening to me right now but it's fine she she knows i'm talking about this um so i found this other site and it was called Fire Dogs and they had a video and like at first it kind of rubbed me the wrong way just because the name was just like me. And I think it's, you know, I'm sure their name was because they, you know, clean up after uh, house, you know, but there's been house fires and things like that. So I get I get it. And they had like a big red truck. This is Fire Dogs on it and all that. But when I when I looked at their video, when it came to like decluttering and like hoarding in the video, they were like, oh, people think it's okay to hoard now these days, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, no. I was like, that's totally not what I'm going for is like somebody who's going to be like super judgy about hoarding because they clearly don't understand it, you know, uh, even if they do work with professionals. I just even that video just like completely rubbed me the wrong way. And I was like, you know what? My mom doesn't need a big truck outside of her house that has the word hoarding and decluttering on the side of it. Like, I mean, I as much as in, as embarrassing as this situation is for her and upsetting as it is for everybody like we don't it's just not necessary and I actually really it really made me mad um 
because I don't know, it just really made me mad. <laughs> it made me so mad. Anyway, so this lady I talked to, she was really cool. This other guy emailed me and um I probably won't contact him unless the stuff with this lady falls through. Um just two reasons. One, because I've already talked to her and she seems very competent. Um, and she seems to like know what she's talking about. Uh, and, and she knows what I'm looking for. Um, and my mom, yeah, uh, anyway, um, the guy that emailed me, he had like an AOL email address, which automatically like made me feel, I don't know. It made me feel very insecure. I don't like it when businesses have an AOL email address. Um, I would be like fine with like Gmail. I, I don't know. It's, it's weird to me. Like it's like, if you're a professional in any, in any way and you don't have like Especially for something like this. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. And, you know, uh, leave a comment if you if you think it's weird to that people have like AOL email addresses as their business. <laughs> I'm actually okay with like Gmail. I would probably be even okay with like Hotmail. Uh, and maybe that maybe that's like me being a techno jerk or something. But I just feel like, you know, if you pay somebody to like do your business taxes, I feel like you should have a, I don't know, a website or something or any anything, I guess. Um, I also, I do want her to like get some actual help because she's, she's doing the thing that everyone does and I do it too. So again, I'm not going to crap on her or anything like that, but she's doing that thing where, you know, well, I didn't do this because of this reason. And I didn't do this because of this reason. I have friends who say things like, well, I'll do crafts once I get this thing in my life done, or I'll make art once I get this one thing in my life done. And life it just doesn't work like that like if you really want something or you really need something done you have to do it like you can't just be like oh let me just put this arbitrary rule in place and then that'll get done or you know even worse you know let me blame the situation that I'm in and then it'll get done and um I mean obviously it hasn't gotten done because like I mean things came over to the new house from the old house that weren't clean so, I mean, it didn't, this is years and years in the making that this has been going on. I mean, this isn't a new thing. This has been going on for damn near 20, 23 years or something. So this is not new situation. This is not a new situation. It started and it started, you know, kind of getting worse and worse and worse. And uh, another sidebar, here's where I started like messing with the face a lot. And like, instead of just like leaving it really stylized, like I probably should have, I started like making it more realistic which I don't know why I did that I, I like because I like the like thick and thin sketchy stuff but then I was like I'll make lips and then I'll do her makeup and anyway <clears throat> back to back to this story so um the new house that she's living in I, I thought was like going to kind of be a new thing for her and like that it wouldn't be that bad but it, it it's 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 bad uh it's worse in some ways and it's better in other ways and you know she has these project projects that she wants to work on and we did discuss those like you know it, 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 like a new vanity and new this new that and there's like things that need to be done stability wise to the house um when she got the house it was one of those situations where uh, like there was like an auction i think um and, and they got it for like a really really good price like her and her boyfriend which is great um I think that's awesome that she was able to get it. And she says she gets mail all the time with people offering to buy it. And if I was her, honestly, I would just sell it. I would, I would totally sell it if she had, you know, just use, could use the money to live somewhere else. But it's not like she has money to pay rent and things like that because she's disabled. Um, and so I, uh, after talking to the lady, she said to give me a price that of course she's going to need photos. And that's, when I went to see my mom yesterday uh, and we did have another talk um, about getting photos and I told her, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go to the house and I need to take photos. And she said, okay. And I'm really glad that she was okay with it. Cause I was really worried that she was going to like get upset because I know I would, I don't know if I would be upset. I guess if somebody like came in my room right now and like wanted to take photos, I probably wouldn't be happy with it. Uh, I would want to clean up, but it's fine. Like, I mean, I guess, but I don't know. It's not the same thing at all. I guess if I was like having, I guess I was like having a maid come or something. I'm probably not the kind of person who would clean up my house first. I would just let them do their job. Um, but I know a lot of people tend to clean up. So yeah, it's just me turning my chat on. Cause I could, I realized that like I was not getting any messages. I said hi to my friend Neo cause he's awesome. Uh, 
you know, actually looking at this now, I don't feel like it's as bad as I thought it was. Like, I don't know. I just have this thing with like stylization, I guess. Like I can do like realistic stuff. I just don't really like it. So I like to stylize stuff, but I guess my monsters are closer to what I like. At first I was not like not liking the hair, but I actually kind of like it, I guess. I like it a lot more looking at it now. Anyway, I kept messing with the ears. I'm like, does she have attached lobes or dangling lobes, attached lobes, dangling lobes? Um, yeah, again, this is ranty and I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because you should be used to this by now if you listen to these. And I don't know who listens to these. I know that like I bother my coworkers about it and stuff, but um, it's really for me. So, you know, if you like it, I hope that it helps. It's therapeutic. And uh, so... She agreed to the photos, and then I find out that um, my brother, something happened with him, and he's actually staying there right now. And so my sister immediately started panicking because uh, she was like, it's not safe in the house for the baby because my brother has a baby, uh, well, a toddler, and um, I guess my nephew. I, I don't, I'm not used to discussing my family like that. So, uh, And my mom was, you know, kind of like thinking about it. And my sister's like, it's not safe in the house. And like, my sister is like, really, she gets it. Like, she understands um, what's going on. And so she actually messaged my brother and she was like, hey, you know, you, sh you really shouldn't be staying in the house uh, with the baby. It's just not safe there. And my, and my brother like responds back, well, shit happens or whatever. And like, <sighs> Anyway, I, I told her to let him know that I was coming just so he knew that I was coming to take photos. And, of course, he'll be smoking in the house, which I, I told my mom that I would try to get some fans to help air it out. Because my biggest worry, too, is that, you know, if she stops smoking while she's in the in the um, in the nursing home and she hasn't been smoking this whole time. So by the time she gets out, it will be almost three months that she has been not smoking. And if she's just going to walk back in the house and she's not going to be able to stand it like um the smoke and, and it's not just her I'm worried about it's my sister because I, I I grew up around all that smoke too and you know can either handle it by doing what my brother and sisters did which is just start smoking um my brothers and sister did which is start smoking or you can handle it like me and like have lung problems the rest of your life um so I mean anybody who grew up in a house with people that smoke knows this this is not even a, a hoarding thing this is just a life thing like you know what it's like especially like going to school every day, you smell like smoke, you never don't smell like smoke. And then as soon as you start to like, uh, you know, whatever. So uh, there's another little sidebar. I realized that like I put her face right in the middle of this piece, which is like not my favorite thing, but I just started it as like an A A4 or A5 paper. I think I A4 probably. So I was like, I'll just like do this thing where she's like being held by these weird funky fingers and I don't know. I was just rambling and doing art. So I started making fingers. Fingers. These like weird looking sketchy fingers. So. She's like angry. Angrily holding. I want to say glowing cabbage is what I called it during the, <laughs> during my stream. Oh, she's, it's a magical ca magic cabbage. Next time I'll use like some kind of reference. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I won't draw a person. I think I'm, I'm going to work on a background. Uh, I did download some backgrounds and, like I said, a new dark theme for GIMP. So when I do the next one, it won't have that light, all that light color on it. Uh, and we'll probably work on a full screen. It's just kind of a pain in the butthole to do that. This is pretty close to full screen, though, so it's not too bad. Anyway, uh, so later today I will be going to my mom's house to take photos. Um, I'm sure I'll have an update about that. Uh, but at least it went well. Like we had a good talk. And one thing I told my sister is when we came home, we had a really good talk about this. And I said, one thing that I've learned, you know, over the years is that, you know, with people that have like, um, when they get angry, uh, like my mom gets, she's quick to anger. Uh, she's also pretty quick to blame. She's got, you know, that thing where she kind of will get herself in situations but they're always somebody else's fault it doesn't matter what the situation is and there was a whole lot of that when we were talking today and I told I told my sister I said I said you don't you're not around me that much but I'm letting you know now that like it took everything that I had like not to start screaming and I I mean I stayed very calm because I had to like you can't talk to somebody and just scream at them like it doesn't work you can't have a conversation with somebody. And that's like one of the reasons that my my sisters, uh, my sister and my brothers don't really get along with my mom. 
And that's because like when she starts yelling, they start yelling. And I, I mean, I, I've had anger management classes because I used to be the exact same way. And what happened was I learned that, you know, when somebody starts yelling, the only thing you can do is either wait for them to stop yelling or, you know, try to calm them back down and, you know, divert the subject a little bit. And I mean, that sometimes I have to do that uh, multiple times in a conversation because, you know, I, I need to talk about, you know, for example, I need to talk about dirty dishes and not, you know, a craft room. <laughs> and, uh, and it's not, you know, it, and letting, getting into a tangent and, and, and this is something that a lot of people do, uh, when they're upset or depressed or even having anxiety is they kind of like think about the past and go over things kind of over and over and over until it starts to make them, uh, really unhappy and really upset. And then they start to get more and more upset. And, and really I'm in a situation right now where I'm not trying to, you know, I, I'm not a therapist. I'm not like trained to, to deal with that kind of emotional stuff. The only thing I can do is, is talk about what we need to do. Um, and so that's what I was doing. And I had to do that several times during the conversation. We were there for quite a while, actually, uh, having this conversation. And I, I only, I told her when I got there that I needed to talk to her about it, about it. And, um, and she stayed, you know, pretty calm. She gets really jumpy because we're like all Italian. And so hands are going everywhere. And my sister said that now that she's been with other people, she's noticed that my mom does that a lot. She does, she gets up a lot and she kind of, she was like looming over us and like talking and like, it, it gives me, it makes me nervous too, especially with my PTSD. But, um, I was telling her that like, I'm used to it. Cause like, you know, being Italian and stuff, but I, but the main thing is I kept trying to get her to sit back down cause her hip, she's not supposed to be doing all that movement. Uh, cause she doesn't notice that, that she's doing it. Um, anyway, so, uh, the video is almost done. Uh, and I wanted to just, uh, uh, thank everybody again for like anybody that listens to this. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's very hard for me to type all this out. Uh, and it's, it's like, I just like being able to like share my art without just talking about my art. Cause I can only tell you what I'm doing so much so far. I can tell you that I like, uh, I liked being able to program the brush and make, make different strokes. That was pretty cool. Um, and I did like how this turned out, I guess. I don't know. I can, I guess I'll share it. That's somewhere. I don't know. I had to kind of, I liked the hands I added, like this little hairy thing. I always forget about this thing. It's called Gimp Prussianist. I always forget about it. I'll probably add a card at the end of this so I can talk for a few more seconds, I guess. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Uh, thank you. And uh, bye, 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 bye.